As mentioned earlier in my brief video, I'm initiating a car security system project, and this marks the first installment. In this segment, we will delve into understanding the module, exploring its features, and preparing it for programming. Next, we'll demonstrate the wiring connection with the Arduino Uno board, emphasizing the crucial process of extracting data from the module. The concluding part will unveil the significance of the data series. Without further ado, let's kick off this project. Stay tuned with Senfix for more updates. All right, let's talk about the NEO 6M GPS module. This little guy comes with its own GPS antenna, and if you're interested, I've dropped a link in the description where you can get one from AliExpress. Plus, it's got a handy rechargeable battery. Now, to get this module ready for some coding magic, you'll need to connect a jumper pin. There are four pins to deal with, ground, TX, RX, and VCC. This module plays nice with 5 volts. Once you've got the power flowing, keep an eye out for a blinking LED, that means the satellites are shaking hands with the module. Don't sweat it if you don't see the blink show right away, sometimes it takes a chill 10 to 15 minutes. Now, let's get those wires connected. Plug the VCC pin into the 5 volt slot on the Arduino. Then, for the dance partners, TX with pin 4, RX with pin 3, and ground gets cozy with the ground on the Arduino. Easy peasy, right?
Now, let's dive into the crucial part, the coding. We're using the software serial library to grab data from this module, and the communication is happening through pins 4 and 3. We're storing all that valuable information in a variable we've named DTA. Now, don't worry, the code is super straightforward. Just keep an eye on the rest and follow along with the coding. Before you hit that upload button, make sure to select the right Arduino board. Oops. Looks like the W needs to be a lowercase w now. Let's give that upload another shot. Great! Upload complete. Pop open the serial monitor to check out the results. Keep in mind, since the GPS isn't hooked up yet, you won't see any latitude and longitude data. To make sense of this data, you'll need to understand the meaning of the serial data. So, let's break it down and get a grasp of what's going on. First it shows the location time, it is to be added or reduced the hours and minutes as per your location. Then second data is latitude and the third data is longitude. You can see more from the Neo 6M data sheet. Before ending this video, if you have any question about this video do not forget to put in the comments. Until the next project, stay with Sendfix.